Hello, I'm Morris Dimba, and uh, welcome to this part four of telecommunication tower modeling. And let's get started right away. If you take a look on the screen, you can be able to see how far we, we've reached with our tower. Now, the part remaining is this top end here. We want to, to brace it. It's not taking any conical shape. It's very straight. Now, at the top end here, the length has reduced to 1.5 and 1.5, not 8 meters by 8 meters. We'll go straight and start bracing. I'll come to navigate and I'll rotate this. I'll pick that spot as my rotating point and I'll turn this just to show you how this looks and the part remaining for us to brace. Now, this very top end here is where the, the telecommunication equipment will be installed here. will be installed here later on after doing the bracing. We'll uh, now uh, uh, model a ladder that will be running all the way from this top end going all the way to the bottom end. First thing first, let's do the bracings or the bracing. I'll come straight to applications and components here. And I'll go straight and type uh, bracing. And prior to even finishing my, my words, uh, the system will predict w w whatever I'm trying to, uh, whatever I'm looking for, and will give me a variety of th of macros with with similar names that starts with the similar words I've just typed here. Now, instead of finishing that name, the name brace, I'll just click inside here and scroll down and try to look which. I try to look if uh, the macro I want that, that I intend to use is actually inside here. It's this one, tensioner, tensioner brace and compression bar. I'll just double click on it just to access it to in its window. Now from that window is where we'll be feeding in our right or our preferred dimensions or settings that we'll use to brace these two members, I mean these four columns. Now, fortunately enough, I've already done my settings, and this is very simple to do. I'll just go straight to braces and I'll load my settings. And to make your customized or uh, uh, to customize your connection, you can also feed in. You, you 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 make a connection, and if you see that looks better for you, and as is the right way. To connect any two parts or three parts you can come here under save us after creating that connection give it a name once you've given it a name click save us you realize the moment you've clicked save us you, you'll see a preview of the same word appearing here go ahead and click load then the loads your settings will be saved inside the, uh, the system now you go ahead and click modify and the same same settings will be put to effect now i'm going to use this i'll go straight and click modify apply and accept i'll come straight here i want to brace these four members i'll uh, click on that member and click on this member to create a brace to to to, to brace the four i mean to brace these two members now I'll do the same thing. I'll come all the way here and click on this member and that member and a brace will be created and uh, it has gone all the way up, meaning we did that anti-clockwise, the opposite way. Now we have to start with this member first, this one, and come to this one so that our bracing too much this one. I'll click on empty screen just to remove that uh, i mean the previous selection i'll come back here and i want to brace this and that and again i want to brace this member and that member and that's it. we've created that i'll click on empty screen to deselect what uh, to, to remove the selections i'll come to navigate and rotate that i'll turn this round to check whether what i've done is okay i'll come to I'll bring back the assembly, but still I'll disable the assembly while placing or connecting these members, while connecting my braces to these four columns. Let me come to navigate and I'll rotate this. 
by by picking a rotation point while pressing my left my my left button on my mouse now i want to start connecting these braces to the columns i'll i'll, ha I'll have first of all to disable the assembly by clicking that button i'll come here and type 11 a macro numer numerical known as 11 this is bolted gusset i want to use gusset gusset plates to connect these members i'll click on this member and that and press my mid button on the mouse and the connection will be created right there and also i want to connect this member and that member and a connection will be created right there and i want to connect these three members together they've been connected right there i'll connect this and that and connection will be created as simple as that and do the same thing here and connect those i'll come all the way here once again and connect this perfect and remember prior to doing anything or prior to connecting the two we have first of all to copy these connections up what i'll do i'll select everything i'll bring back the assembly i'll select everything while pressing control and, and highlight everything on this end and make sure I'm not leaving anything behind while doing my copying. So what I'll do, I'll right click and come to special copy here and uh, pick linear. Under linear, I'll just feed here 25, 20, 2750 and click copy up. It hasn't taken any effect. I'll, I'll click undo, right click and click on empty screen and uh, come here and disable the assembly and come here and back and come back here and select all the members that I intend to copy upward. Then first of all, remove this connection. First of all, remove that connection first and remove that. Then come all the way and select everything here. I select everything here and press control and select that's wrong let me disable the assembly first and i want to select everything here i'll press control and select everything here perfect i'll zoom close and select individuals that have been left out when doing my selection of members that i intend to copy upward I'll select that also and select this one and, and select that one and also pick on this i'll not forget that one and i'll not forget that now i want to copy them up i'll right click and come to special copy right here and click linear and just feed 2.75 and go straight and click copy perfect and click ok right click and uh, interrupt to exit that command i'll right click and redraw then I st I'll, st I'll start doing my connection i'll use the gas uh, the, the bolted gasset plate macro to connect all this this now the far end where all the telecommunication equipments will be installed up here and from there we'll be able to now place our ladder our ladder running all the way from the, this very top to the bottom end don't always forget to save your work we've saved our work right there now we'll go straight and start connecting our braces uh, uh, pr prior to that we'll disable the assembly which we've already done and get started right away we want to connect this to that and press our middle button on the mouse and we'll do the same thing here connect that to that and press our middle button I want to connect this and this and press our middle button on the mouse we'll connect this that and this and that also we'll connect this one this one this one and that one and our connection has been created 
and we connect this and that connection has been created and what we'll do we just redraw to remove any sign of active macro we'll come back here and turn this round like that having done that we'll come here and uh, do the same thing this side click on that this that and that to connect the four this one to connect all this together and press our mute button on the mouse to complete the connection we want to connect all these four members all these three members to the main member here which is our column connect that this one and that one and we press the middle button on the mouse to finalize our connection now we'll come here to central to central we'll go to another macro here we'll pick on that and we want to connect these two i mean these four members at the center at the center here and we'll do the same thing here. We want to connect this. We move all the way to this end and connect this one. That's connected. And we'll do the same thing here. Connected. Perfect. Go straight and do a similar thing here and finish up with that macro. Let's just finish up with this macro before we invoke another uh, command. Connect that, that, and this. We've picked a wrong member. We want this member all only. That member, this member, that, and this one only to be connected. We'll connect this one, this, that, and this perfectly. There we are. I'll right click and redraw. And connect this one also. Connect this one. Let me just invoke that command. This, this, and that. Not connected. And we'll rectify that. Now, if I turn this round like that, you can see that already created and is much better. Now, if I switch back to plan view, this is what you can see from up. This is what you can see from up. Let me just switch back to isometric view and we can now delete all this. I've just showed you how to proceed up there and that should be now a very simple thing to do you can do it now following the guidance or following just what i've done to do a similar thing now i'll go straight and save that and i'll come here to navigate and rotate with mouse and i'll rotate this so that you can have a look at this Now what will be remaining is the ladder that will be giving you a flight all the way from ground zero to a ground of a, 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 a 72 meter height. That will be done in the next presentation. And thanks for watching this channel. And uh, especially if you are your first time in this channel, don't forget to subscribe and let's meet on the next presentation. I'm Morris Dimba and bye bye.